Have you ever heard that saying? Mess with feathers, you'll get tickled. Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Leo and thank you for joining me here today on my channel. If you're new to this channel, why not stick around to the end and see, you might like it. If you're just subscribed, thank you ever so much and I really appreciate it. I've just gone out with the 7,000 mark now and that is a massive, massive achievement and I couldn't have done it without you. So today, what I'm going to be looking at is simple photography, simple ideas, because last week I posted a picture on my, on my social media at my table full of random stuff for a use for photography. And I put a YouTuber's table, but what it was is a YouTuber's table that was actually, you know, it didn't have a clue what it was going to do. And that's because sometimes what we do in photography is we always overthink too much. We always like to be the best. We always like to push our creativity to the top. But a lot of times the simplest ideas can be the best ideas. And this is what a lot of us forget. And this is how we get frustrated. And this is why we get mind blocks. Because we are, we're overthinking it and we're missing the simple things. And the simplest things can always be the best shots, like I've already said. So today, I've just got some of these simple peacock feathers. And, them, yeah, them simple. And them, but how simple are they? Because the colours on these are absolutely fantastic. And what I love about peacock feathers is them flat, lovely and flat. So that means that my focal plane is going to be perfect, meaning I can use lower f-stops because there's not the I army mean, to very, 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 very shallow depth of the field. Plus, the oils in the feathers give a lovely textures and lovely colours out. So when I put my lights on this, it's going to really give some vibrant colours and some beautiful, beautiful textures. So I've decided today I'm going to go back to basics and I'm just going to do some simple feb photography and I'm going to show you what it is because like I says, we all overthink things sometimes and I think by overthinking we lose passion, we lose a lot of interest, we think we ain't doing it right but it's because we're overthinking. So let's see what we can do with this feather. Everybody's got to love feathers. Everybody, I don't care who they are, must love feathers. These, like I say, are just peacock feathers, small peacock feathers, bought off Amazon UK and they're absolutely fantastic. I will leave a link in below where you can get these from. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to set them up. So I'm going to pick one, what I like. Now what I love about these feathers is the way the air stick up, it's like a oh, scary face. And if you actually look in the middle, it's like two, two eyes, so that's good. Now. Like I says, it's them simple, them flat, which is ideal. That means we can keep, that means we can keep the focus plane very close and tight. Low f stops, brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because I don't need, I don't need to use all this, so I need to trim it down a bit. But I don't want to lose it because I reckon we can use the bottom bits for something else. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just chop it off there because that looks like a tree, and I believe I can use that somewhere else. So now I've got this, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel back the pieces off it to get it close. So I'm going to show you the reason I'm doing this in a minute, but I need to get these off first. So I'll just quickly get these off. And there we go. Then next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to trim it back a little bit more. Make it a bit lower. Then I'm going to find me some blue tack. This is just normal blue tack. Absolutely fantastic. Photographers, for me, this is my ultimate number one thing. I'm just going to pinch some blue tack off and just stick it in. Like that. And that is it. And then what I love about this is I can just model it, put it flat. And I'm ready to go. There to go. That's ready for me to take pictures. But I just love how the mess stick up. Look like I wish I had there like that. Then what I got here is a fridge tidy. The only reason I'm using this is because I can't. I want to keep the camera up to me. I don't want to be looking down. 
Then I've got my light, my rotating light, as you've seen before. Now I'm using this rotating light for the simple reason is, is the colours off it, that comes off it, are absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to use these colours to light the front of the flower up, the feather, the front of the feather, uh, the feather up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on there. And then what happens is, is the colours will absolutely light the front of that up. Beautiful. And I, I think that's perfect. Also what I've got, yet again, is my light. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put this actually there in front of it. I'm going to put it on top of it just to tease the light onto the top to give me a different colour from the one that's shining up. Just so it just makes it stand out a lot more. So I'm going to be using that. Let's try to do this up just a touch. Right. I got my Canon 750D here today. I make on my tripod, my trusty tripod. I'm, like I says, you either use a tripod or you don't. I do because today, like yet again, I'm going to be in a bit longer exposure. So I believe the tripod will help me. And like I say, I never get out of a tripod. It's something you either love or hate. I mean, my good friend Stuart would hate tripods, but I love them. Bit of yin and yang. So you've got to get it up to your level, what you want. I'm not what a bad guess, to be fair. So once we've got it on, where we want it, we're pretty, you know, away with a mixer sort of thing. Quite nice. Right, let's have a look what I've got. At this precise moment, I'm going to be shooting at 1 8 for the power, f4.5 and ISO 100. But it's very important you frame the your feather up to get the maximum out of it because even though you got it, even though it's said I want to make a picture out of it because I want to use the middle bits of the eyes to feel like it's an alien or it's, you know, it's tribal or something else. So that's the important part, the important thing of it. Why the light's just going out of my light, going through now and just reflecting up. I've got it also on a two second timer. Two second timer, so that means that I can move away, click, you ain't because of the long exposure. Once I start taking the pictures, what I'm actually gonna do, it's like I says, is I'm just gonna hold the light there. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to even interrupt with anything on the front. So let's have a look and see what we get. That one ain't too bad, but I believe we can do better. Two second timer. And that's a lot better. Now what you want to do with this is just keep taking shots because your light the rotating light is going to keep changing the colours. So every time you take a picture, you're going to get a different picture, like that. Also, try to make it a stronger, powerful picture, believe it or not, is just put it on portrait. And portrait is, a, it, it is fantastic for these, because like I said, because you've got the airs that stick up, you can make it longer, make the picture stretch up and so, you know what I mean? Really good idea to try. Let me just set this one back up. That looks nice. Take a couple of shots again, like I says. Put the timer on. Oh, like that. That's very nice. Let's just quickly change the colour on my bulb. Do this by just simply this little remote control, I will put, leave a link for one of these bulbs in also on the below. Change colour, let's put a bit of blue on something, shall I say? Blue, purple. Oh, fancy blue, I think. Do, 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 do. Brighten it up. So what we can do with blue, not the best with blue, but we'll have a look. Whoa. Oh yes, I really like them. And that's how simple that is. It's like I says, with a flat, uh, flatness of it at the short depth of field, you haven't got to use I have stops, so that means you can lower everything down, which is even more. And with these lights bouncing the colours off the oils and the textures, it works absolutely fantastic. I'll put a couple of pictures up here now to have a look at.
So what did you think of those simple pictures? Just using a feather. Absolutely fantastic what you can get. Okay, the light does a lot of the work to it. Really don't need a lot of editing because, like I say, you've seen the pictures through the back of the camera and it, they're there already. So next time you get stuck and you think you're doing something wrong, why not just try simplifying it a little bit more and see what happens. You know, tidy the mess up like I had to do. You know, just pick one object, concentrate on that one object, and that one object will work for you. Just means you've got to try that little bit harder, use a bit more imagination, but instead of having lots of things in front of you, one simple thing, and believe me, it does make a difference. It made a difference to me this week anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this, the, today's uh, bit of a video. And if you got to the end of it, thank you ever so much, and thank you very, very, very much for all your kind comments and words that you keep sending me in pictures. More pictures, more, 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 please, I love them. And, like, and I hope you're all well and looking after yourself. And you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Until next time, stay safe and happy snapping.